Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's edition of Let's Learn. Today we'll be discussing formulaic expression and interjections. Okay, so we we'll start with the formulaic expressions and then we'll end with interjections. And when we end interjections, that will be the end of word classes. That is, we would, we would have ended minor word class and word class as a whole. Okay, so what's then is a formulaic expression. Formulaic expression is an expression or it is used to express greetings, farewell, thanks, or apologies. So these or this is what formulaic expression is used for. They are used to express thanks or gratitude, to apologize or ask for forgiveness. To extend someone a farewell, to greet others, and so many more. So, from like expressions, are sometimes used to bring two people together. For instance, when you apologize to others for the wrong thing you have done, it connects you and the person together. Okay, so let's now look at examples of. From like expressions, you have goodbye, good luck, thank you, excuse me, hello, hi, okay, etc. etc. Great, goodbye, thank you, excuse me, hello, hi, etc. are examples of from like expressions. Some formulaic expressions are also used to express agreement or disagreement. So that is when you want to agree with someone or disagree with someone, sometimes we use formulaic expressions. You know, these expressions are used day in, day out, but we don't actually know that they are what we call the formulaic expressions. Examples of such expressions that are used to express agreement and disagreement Ah, you have no, okay, sure, right, etc. Great. For instance, if you want to agree or disagree with someone, the examples, okay, no, sure, right. And many more can be used. And these are examples of formulaic expressions. More examples we can have hallelujah. This is an example of formulaic expression. We can also have Amen. It's also an example. And many more. Let us now look at interjections. Okay, so the next we'll be looking at is interjections. Interjections are used to express a wide range of emotions, and these emotions include surprise, exasperation, and disgust. Okay, so we can have examples of interjections as examples. Example one, we can have hmm. Can also have A, A, O, Ouch, Jack, Few, Hmm, etc., etc. So these expressions, some are used to express, or these interjections, some are used to express surprise like whoa wow see we can also have some as aspirations where we say shoot kill him and then we have this guy's the yak oh and all these are examples of interjections 
Okay, so we see that with the examples given in these brackets, we have exclamation mark attached to it. And so sometimes we see interjections as exclamatory words. That means they usually go with exclamatory, exclamatory signs. That is this sign. Yes. So for instance, when I'm surprised, it goes with an exclamation mark. Hmm. Doesn't go with an exclamation mark. Ah! Can go with an exclamation mark depending on the tone used. So sometimes, not always, exclamatory marks or exclamatory symbol, I mean this symbol, is used after the inter interjection is used. Okay, so in some books, we see formulaic expressions and interjections being added as one because they are all grouped under one category called expressions and sometimes called formulaic expressions. And so in certain books, instead of interjections, you see these examples under formulaic expressions. Okay. So we should also note that with these expressions, they do not need any inflations that means there are no words added to them you can't add est to any word any of these examples whether the form whether in the formulaic expression or in the interjection you cannot add any affixes or attachments to them so that means they stand on their own they need no attachment or they need no additions to them so this brings us to the end of from lake expressions and interjections and also minor word classes it also brings us to the end of word classes which we began a few weeks ago i'm over and thank you for watching bye bye